Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now the middle of August of 2022, which only means that we're getting very close to the release of Star Wars Andor, as well as the Bad Batch 2 and Tales of the Jedi as well, that's going to debut this fall. Now we also have D23 and Disney Plus Day to look forward to because that's going to be the destination of a series of announcements for new TV shows, new Star Wars lore that's going to come out by Favreau and Filoni, as well as other creators. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the new Star Wars universe is that a lot of Star Wars fans have really been looking forward to everything coming out by Favreau and Filoni, and they themselves have made it very clear that what they're about to do is that they are basically reviving Star Wars Legends, basically bringing Legends back to life and really sticking down to the bare bones of Star Wars, really making sure that they are going to bring George Lucas's vision back intact within the Star Wars universe. Now, with that being said, however, what's even all the more exciting has a lot to do with exactly what's been going on behind the scenes between Favreau, Filoni, and Lucas, basically taking over a large portion of the Acolyte TV show, which could very well, you know, give us a light at the end of the tunnel for that series, getting improved and becoming an even better experience than if Kathleen Kennedy had all creative power. Now, moving beyond all of this, what's even all the more exciting has a lot to do with the fact of what's been going on with, of course, specifically Ewan McGregor and the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show, Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy and others, and specifically, you know, what really has been happening with Ewan McGregor behind the scenes. Now, on top of all of this, what's really intriguing is that with both Disney and Lucasfilm currently focused on the new Star Wars universe, it's noted that currently both Favreau and Filoni are making some drastic changes behind the scenes. However, it's described that actor Ewan McGregor has been very frustrated with Lucasfilm creatives for siding with Kathleen Kennedy on many of the decisions that were made with the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show. Now further, it's described that the problems that have been happening behind the scenes have a lot to do with the fact that Kathleen Kennedy, Joby Harold, and of course Deborah Chow completely dismissed Ewan McGregor's requests for how the Kenobi series should end and how they should have used many of Stuart Beatty's original story ideas. Now this was an ongoing creative difference struggle that was happening between Ewan McGregor and others, even while filming the series, where McGregor was trying to save some of Stuart Beatty's story choices and trying to convince Kathleen Kennedy to bring in the Mustafar battle between Kenobi and Vader that was actually described to be a flash fight. Now, one of the original fight scenes involved a flash fight between Vader and Kenobi that was going to be near similar to what happened between both Kylo Ren and, of course, Rey. This was an idea by Beatty that was supposed to happen in the series that ended up only getting partially shot and canceled by Kathleen Kennedy. Now, McGregor had some deep issues with that, with that of course, since he spent on so much time rehearsing for the scene and Kathleen Kennedy, Joby, and Deborah eventually wanted nothing to do with this third fight scene that was in the cards and partially created that ended up getting deleted completely. Now, the reason as to why Ewan McGregor had such a tough time with all three of them and some Lucasfilm creatives is that he actually spent a lot of time rehearsing for the show, specifically for this fight, and it created this grudge between all of them. Now, let me just stop here for a second. The thing about Ewan McGregor having this grudge with Kathleen Kennedy, I think is very much, you know, justified because of this reason. And when you look at an actor like Ewan, he spent a lot of time rehearsing for what could have been easily, I think, one of the best battles of all time. It was going to take place on Mustafar, but not in the traditional sense where it would have been just a direct copy and paste situation of episode three. It was going to take place all in a different destination, and we're going to tap into that in just a second. The thing about Ewan McGregor is that he endlessly and tired, you know, really was tired of doing this. He put all of his time and effort trying to convince Kennedy, Joby, Deborah, other Lucasfilm creators to really pursue this new Mustafar battle between Vader and Kenobi. He wanted this to happen and he had a lot of problems with Kathleen Kennedy, was very angry over the fact that this did not go well. 
Now moving beyond all of this, all right, this is a scene that McGregor had actually some creative influence over in the beginning and control over that Kennedy at the time took over and canceled it altogether, believing, of course, that the scene was too over the top and broke some canon. The scene was going to involve Kenobi back on a strange new world where he is meditating when he feels a dark presence. This eventually led to a moment in which Kenobi suddenly arrives on Mustafar near Vader's castle. Now, this is best described to have been a flash fight, where both Kenobi and Vader were going to have a we're going to have a saber duel inside of Vader's castle instead of near the lava, like in Episode Three. Now, the entire scene was also storyboarded that involved Vader and Kenobi fighting in the Sith cave that is located below Vader's castle. McGregor kept on trying to convince Kennedy to keep the scene alive and well and to keep production going. But she didn't want to move ahead, of course, with the fight, and wanted to make things more simpler by focusing on the show only having two fights. It was Kennedy's idea to make the final fight take place on the moon of Mustafar instead of Mustafar itself, as well as Kennedy taking out the Duel of the Fates theme. Stuart Beatty was also described to be upset and annoyed that Kathy Kennedy wanted nothing to do with this entire sequence. So, before I get to the next thing here real quick, is that everything related to this entire scene that got cancelled, that Ewan McGregor spent so much time on, is that they were really trying to do pretty much, you know, next level stuff. Stuart Beatty wanted to create a flash fight, but in a more epic way than what happened in The Rise of Skywalker. I will admit, the flash fight in Episode 9 was just okay. It was just alright. And if they were to do that technique and mixing it in with Mustafar and Vader's castle, the Sith cave, and Ewan McGregor's, you know, uh, influence on the actual scene, I think would have been truly spectacular. And I don't blame Ewan McGregor for having a lot of problems and a grudge against Joby, Deborah, and Kathleen for sabotaging what could have easily been the best fight of Star Wars in a very long time. Maybe even better than the fight that we got in Revenge of the Sith if executed correctly, right? So that's the thing about Kathleen Kennedy. It always seems like whatever she deletes or whatever she cancels or halts production with ends up being the most amazing stuff that we could have gotten. Whether it's stuff that they were gonna film or stuff that they did not film but it was only storyboarded, whatever it was from movie to movie, TV show to TV show, everything that she gets rid of is top-notch material. And I think that it was such a missed opportunity. Now, given that Ewan McGregor was gonna be an executive producer and had a lot of creative influence on the scene in the beginning, I think that we would have gotten something truly for the fans by a fan, because McGregor, let's just be honest, he himself even said that he loves the franchise, he loves the fans, and at times when he was making the show, it was very frustrating. He had a lot of problems with the creative directions. So on top of this, guys, you know, I think that at the end of the day, this would not have been a copy and paste of episode three. It would have been an, a very unique and original battle on Mustafar, just different scenery, so to speak. So anyways, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.